Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video of a few items that I got from the Dollar Tree um, that I ended up loving or hating. So I have three items that I have never bought before that I bought and ended up loving. And then I have three items that I picked um, that I thought I would like and I ended up not liking them at all. So um, I guess I will start with, I'll save the good stuff for last. I'll start with the stuff that I did not end up liking. The first thing is the nail polish remover wipes. And I bought these because I thought it was just a simple way to remove my nail polish without having to use the, um, you know, cotton balls and the liquid um, nail polish remover and paper towels and all that stuff. Um, but these, um, when I bought them, there was a, a foil around the, um, there was like a top, a little foil top to keep them fresh. So I was very surprised when I opened it up and they were like completely dry. Not completely dry, but they were not very wet at all. And I actually have some nail polish on my finger right now, so I'll demonstrate. Um, these. So I'm going to fold it just to make it a little thicker and I'm going to rub and I'm rubbing pretty hard like you can see. I'm going to... Okay, it took nothing off of my fingernail and you can see the cloth has barely nothing on it. So um, basically I, the only reason why I saved this is so I could do this video but these are going right in the trash can. I'm not even going to try to use them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this Elmo soap. And I was really sad that this didn't end up working out for us. Um, the reason why I bought it was because it has Elmo on it and my son likes Elmo. And when you first open it, okay, the scent is cherry berry. And when you open it like this, it smells very like berry-ish. It smells like berries. And, um, after using it, like after washing my hands, I kept smelling something like very strong and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I couldn't figure out what my hands smelled like. And after a while, I realized that it's bug spray. And I'm like, why do my hands smell like bug spray? I have not used bug spray. So then I realized it was from the soap and, um, so I don't know why, but it smells very good from the bottle, but after you wash your hands with it, the like after scent on your hands, it just leaves behind this horrible like alcoholish kind of smell and it smells just like bug spray. So um, I did end up using it up just because I didn't want to waste it. So I ended up using it, but I will not be buying this soap again. Um, I know they have Big Bird and um, some other ones from this brand, and I might try those out, but I'm guessing that all of the Sesame Street ones probably have that same problem. So, unfortunately, this did not work out for us. The last item on my hate list, or dislike list, is this Swiffer duster thing. Um, and I bought it because I love the Swiffer wipes, but I didn't want to have all that waste. Um, you know, I like being able to wash things and reuse them. And um, so I was hoping that this would work just as well as the Swiffer dusters. And basically all it does is move the dust around. It doesn't pick it up or the dust doesn't stick to it very well. Um, I did happen to try a different method with it though. I thought maybe if I spray pledge on it and then wipe, um, whatever I'm dusting, it'll pick up the dust a little bit better. And it did work a little bit better once I sprayed the pledge on there, but, um, it's still not as good as a Swiffer wipe. So I think I might still save this just to um, have on hand for if I ever run out of the Swiffer dusters. But um, I think for now I'm just going to keep on buying the disposable Swiffer dusters because this did not live up to my expectations. Okay, so now on to the good things that I loved. 
So the first thing is a food item. And it's the, I know everybody hauls these, it's the Honey Bunches of Oats um, Greek Mixed Berry Cereal. And this um, retails for like three something at Walmart. So when I saw these at the Dollar Tree, I was super excited. I bought a ton of them um, and they're, it's super good. So, and um, they didn't expire. Like they weren't close to their expiration dates or anything. So I don't know why the Dollar Tree had them, but um, this was a good, good deal. And unfortunately I haven't been seeing them lately. So I don't know if it was like a one-time thing or if they're going to like start carrying these again. But if you see these at your Dollar Tree, definitely, definitely pick them up and pick up a couple because I haven't been seeing them. So they might stop carrying them. And the next two items are, um, makeup items. The first one is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. My cat's meowing. Um, the LA Colors Liquid Makeup and normally I don't wear like concealer or foundation or anything like that just because I don't like the way, um, like I don't like that thick gooey feeling like all over my face and this was the only, um, like foundation that I have used in a while that didn't feel thick or sticky or like have that gooey feeling. It's very light and um, this is in the color natural and it fit my skin tone like perfectly. So um, that was a good buy for me. And then the last item are the EOS lip balms, or like the EOS lip balms. Um, it's by Chap Ice, and I've seen like four different scents. Um, this one's watermelon. And I love these because they're perfect. They're just like the EOS lip glosses, um, except they're a little bit smaller. And I actually have an EOS so I can compare. So you can see it's basically like half the size of an EOS. Which is fine because these are like three bucks at Walmart and these are a dollar. So you're, you know, obviously you're going to get less when you pay less. But, um, and I have one that's out of the package so I can open it up for you. And it's got the round tip just like an EOS. And they go on smooth. I already have some on my lips right now, but they go on smooth and they're not sticky. Like a lot of um, the Dollar Tree lip, lip glosses, um... So this was a really good buy, and it took me a while to find these. My Dollar Tree didn't have them for a while, but as soon as I saw them, I picked up like a bunch of them. So that was my last um, love item. So let me know if you guys like this video and if you want to see more of these kinds of videos because I'm always trying new things from the Dollar Tree, and um, if you like these like little review videos, let me know because I'll hold on to the things that I like or dislike so I can um, make more of these videos. But that was all that I have for this video, so I will see you guys soon. All right, bye.